So for Friday, June 23rd dinner, I did not film making this, but I'll tell you what I did. I have a bag of frozen broccoli that I got on clearance um, that I used up. It was like that steam in a bag kind, and it kind of fell apart, but while well, making it work. I had half a package of red lentil pasta in my cabinet waiting to be used up. Um, this morning I went to the grocery store and just picked up a couple things, and they had hot Italian sausage. Ron Manders is special for $1.99 a pound, so there's hot Italian sausage in here, and then I had meatballs that I had pre-made and frozen in the deep freezer, so those are also in here. I cooked the meatball sausage and sauce in a crock pot all day, and it's delicious, and the sauce is just some random cans of sauce that I had um, hanging around in my cabinet, so that's dinner for... Friday night. While I um, was getting other stuff done today, I also pulled out some chicken thighs from the deep freezer, got those thawed, um, took some fresh thyme out of the garden, um, the rest of some honey mustard that was in the fridge, and I'm going to put some black pepper on this, and this chicken will marinate for a day or so, and then we will cook it up in the air fryer. For Saturday night dinner, Saturday the 24th, I am sauteing some spinach. In this boiling water, I need to do this right now actually, I am cooking this right rice, which is made from veggies. It's a Spanish rice that I just had in the cabinet. It's lentils, chickpeas, and rice. So it's a higher protein kind of rice. And then I have um, some seasoned steak going in the air fryer. I had some red onion that was going soft and some bell pepper left over from camping, so I'll saute that up as well. Here are the sautés, sautéed peppers and onions, spinach, the Spanish rice, I'm going to put that in quotations, and the steak. And I took out some hot sauce, leftover guacamole that really needs to go, um, sour cream, this stuff can go in the rice if we want, or A1 sauce, and that's dinner. So I don't love sugar cookies, but I want something sweet. So assuming that the oven will actually work. I am going to turn this gluten-free sugar cookie mix into bars and then I am going to frost them and I'm going to see if I have sprinkles and that is the plan. Um, I'm also using, instead of butter, I'm using coconut oil because we have some that we need to use up. So I found these ancient rainbow sprinkles and then I found these Christmas tree sprink sprinkles that came with this gift in um, this little ornament. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to use. And here are the sugar cookie bars. The frosting is a little bit melty because it's warm in here. Um, so these will be stored in the fridge, but we're just going to dig into them because we need a sweet treat right now. So. Yum. I'm going to take a minute to show you. Um, addition is not done, but and the deck is not stained. But I wanted something that I could sit at um, to do computer work or relax, eat my breakfast or lunch out here. Um, but it also had to be something that was light enough to move if we needed to move it for construction. So I found this at Target. Um, most of it was like 50% off. So the chairs were. Uh, the two of them I think I spent 50 something dollars on basically the whole thing the two chairs the table the umbrella stand and the umbrella cost me under $200 oh and the chair cushions those are five dollars each um but they all fold and they're super light the only thing that's heavy is the umbrella base which I could just slide to the side if I needed to um but yeah this is something that we can enjoy and it moves if we need to move it out of the way for construction so um, hopefully we'll get a lot of use out of this it this summer and then in the future it can be repurposed for entertaining um, to have an extra folding chair and table set. So this is a grocery haul that I did in late June. I got some 99 cent bacon, some apples and cantaloupe, bananas, 
and um, those were great reduced price and a bunch of ground turkey for $1.99. I was even able to get some for my family. It is Monday at 11.30 a.m. It is the 26th and I am prepping. Um, I'm off for the summer now, so I'm home and we're back from our trip and I am prepping a breakfast bake so we can have easy breakfast for the week. Say for my husband because he's still, um, he's going off to work, you know, keep things simple. Um, but also because sometimes when I'm home in the summer, I just won't eat breakfast. I'll get too busy doing stuff in the garden or I'll have somewhere I want to go and I won't take the time to eat breakfast. So normally I use hash brown potatoes, like the frozen kind, um, but the grocery store didn't have any. And either of the sections that I looked in. I had lots of potatoes that need to be used up though, so I am just softening, browning up these potatoes to put into this casserole. An onion and some peppers that I got reduced at the grocery store. Onion's been kicking around for a while, so has the red pepper. Um, those will be added in. I don't have pork sausage, but I have ground pork, and I'm going to look up what seasonings to put into this to make it into pork sausage. And then I have eggs, bisquick, cheese, milk, and we'll make a breakfast bake the peppers and onions and I also have a teeny tiny bit of broccoli left I'm going to throw in there and here are the potatoes all softened and brown and delicious and I'll show you the next step when I get there. I have everything um, the veggies and the potatoes in a grease pan and I had a pound of ground pork from Walden and I'm trying to make it into breakfast sausage I added Thyme, rosemary, ground sage, salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a little bit of nutmeg following this recipe I found online. The only thing I didn't have was marjoram, and I think it'll be fine. So that's what we're doing, making use of what we have instead of buying more. All right, so I got the pork in there. Um, it's kind of humid, and my salt shaker, my salt grinder is not really working. So this is pretty undersalted, but it'll be fine. We can add salt after if we want to. So I have everything in there, and I'm just going to top it with, this is just a little bit of cheddar cheese. I'm trying to cut back on the amount of cheese that I'm using in here. And then I actually don't have time to bake this now. Um, I have physical therapy for my ankle issue that I've been dealing with, and then my mother and I are going to get a pedicure, um, so that'll be a nice thing for us to go do. It's been a while since I've had one. Um, and then when I get back, I will make the egg mixture, put it on top, and I can get this going in the oven. All right, I am back from physical therapy. And I got my pedicure and we basically had like, I mean, I'm, I know places have it a lot worse, but we have some flash flooding. We have some standing water on the roads and water flowing down my street. And yeah, so I was so wet that I actually had to change my shirt when I got home. Um, now I am going to get the breakfast bake ready to go in the oven. So I pulled the pan out of the fridge so the glass can kind of warm up a little bit and in here I have a cup of gluten-free bisquick, two cups of milk and four eggs and salt and pepper. I'll pour this over all of my stuff that's in my glass baking dish and then I'll bake it. Usually I do 35 minutes and then I start checking on it and it usually goes between 35 and 40 minutes until the egg is set and brown. Alright, so um, I shattered my phone today and had to get a new one. So if the quality looks different, that is why. Hopefully it will be better. Um, dinner tonight is honey mustard marinated chicken thighs. I think I filmed marinating that. Lemon, parmesan, garlic, roasted broccoli, and some cantaloupe. Easy summer dinner. Oh, also it is Tuesday, the 27th of June. Dinner on June 29th is beef and pea pods. These are pea pods that I grew in my garden. I have some ginger.
still working on this beef that I got on clearance, manager special, grass fed, top sirloins. I'll cut those up. And then I have coconut aminos, fish sauce, ginger, and some garlic. And I'll use a little bit of oil to saute it up as well. I forgot to say, I have this cooked rice I froze before we went camping. I'm going to heat this up in a pan with a little bit of water. Um, I am cleaning up the peas and the beef is cooking. I will pull this out of the pan when it's done, saute the peas, and then put it all together with the seasoning. All right, here's the beef and pea pods and the rice, and we're ready for dinner. Friday, June 30th, and for dinner we're having chicken wings in the air fryer. I think we're going to toss them in some buffalo sauce that we have. And then I harvested um, maybe the last bit of lettuce for a while from the garden because it's starting to get too hot and I wanted to get it out of there. Um, here's the lettuce. I picked all of it because I didn't want it to go to seed or start tasting bitter. Some of it was in the greenhouse and the greenhouse is definitely too hot. But I did just cut it off of the base so there's a chance if we get a couple cool days it could start coming back. And I probably won't start more lettuce until um, it starts getting cooler, maybe towards fall, unless um, there's some stuff coming up in the garden that might be lettuce. So we'll see how that goes. So I have that, and then I'm going to start chopping veggies to go with our salad. If you can hear a noise in the background, that is the air fryer. Here's what I have going for the salad. We have leftover croutons from camping, leftover croutons from before camping, cucumbers, tomatoes, red pepper, green onions, and I saved the root part of the green onions to plant in my garden to grow more green onions. Olives, but my husband doesn't like them, so I put them in a separate container so that they don't touch anything. Um, and these pearl-sized mozzarella cheese. We also have some pepperoncini, some dressing options, and buffalo sauce for the wings. And then we're either going to tear or cut up this lettuce as we need it to fill our bowls. And here's Friday night dinner, ready to go.